What's up? It's Dames with iHeartRadio, joined by special guest Ty Verdez. How you doing, sir? Listen, I'm beautiful. <laughs> is that you or is that what your mom tells you? <laughs> no, nah, I'm just kidding. It uh, might you, be both. Yeah, it should be both. Your mama should be telling you you're beautiful, man. Where are you at in the world? Is it L.A. right now? Yeah, I'm in L.A. right now. Ah, uh, okay. Well, let's talk about the entertainment stuff, the music stuff. But first, let's talk about the difference a year can make. Because if I'm not mistaken, this time last year, you were selling the new iPhone XR. Yeah, man. Technically, it was the iPhone 11, but you were close. You were close. Ah, <laughs> it was. Okay, I was a little... I'm an Android guy, so, you know, we're talking okay. to you, man. A year later, that 9 to 5 at Verizon, you start making some tracks, putting it up online, and, like, what's the last year been like? Yeah, man, the last year was crazy. Well, the whole story was that I just have been in L.A. for, like, four, four years at that point. Every single year, I'd try out for American Idol, or not, not American Idol, but uh, American Idol Talent in... Uh, 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 the voice and I would never get past the first round there's like six rounds of uh, people that you got to pass before you get to the actual judges I would never get past the first one rightfully so I was trash but I was garbage <laughs> I was garbage bro uh. and anyways what happened was after the fourth time getting rejected I was like okay I'm gonna sing in my car for an hour and a half every single day in my garage and then after six months of that uh, the first thing I did was get into the studio and I made three songs one of them was stuck in the middle i put it out on tiktok and then it went crazy bananas ridiculous um i think that it just kept building on itself so it happened it was stuck in the middle and then i put out my next song drugs and then i put out uh, bad bad news and we would have some new kids and then when i put out AOK, -okay, it was like kind of showing people along the way that this wasn't just like a one song thing it was just like song after song after song that people were like oh, this is the same guy that's making these songs that I listen to? And then they're kind of connecting the dots with the project that just dropped TV. And that's, you know, where we're at, where we're at now. Did you feel for any second in the past year, I mean, after putting out the first single, the viral single, the TikTok smash that you wrote in like two hours, mm -hmm. after that, did you feel like you had to keep feeding the beast? Or, or was it that you had all these songs already made in the top? Because that's what happens sometimes when you go viral. It's like you do something, you get a lot of hits, and then you're like chasing that, for lack of a better term, kind of chasing that viral, uh, you know, load, right? Yeah, exactly. You're chasing the viral load, but what's what's happening is like you think that you think that um, you just have to make songs that you like. You know what I'm saying? I just want to make songs that I like. And the fact that my first song that I put out was a song that I wasn't even like feeling like the most, it wasn't even my favorite song at the time. So I had other songs that I liked even more. And when I get this um, kind of validation, when I put out like a song like drugs or a song like AOK, -okay, it means that I can do this for as long as I want to, because I'm just putting my authenticity in the track and then people respond. So I think that um, I had the songs, um, I had some songs ready to go. But I also made new ones and then, but they're for later albums. You know, I had a bunch of songs already made that I put on my track list, like Real World, Something to Cry About, um, Bad Bad News. Those have been made for like um, at least like six months. And then there were songs that are new, like AOK -okay was the last song we had put on the album because I was like, this guitar sounds so good. We got to put it on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I feel <laughs> you. On. Um, but yeah, man, I made like three albums during quarantine and they're all going to come out. There's like a whole thing. I know the cover arts, uh, colors for all of them. I know the titles for every single one of them. It's going to be, I'll just say this now, man, I'm a problem. I am a problem and people don't know yet, but <laughs> we can, we can talk next year, doc. Let's talk about the timing of everything because COVID kind of put people inside across the globe. And then we saw the emergence of TikTok. A lot of people started getting creative with TikTok. Is it just something that's divine timing? You mentioned that you were, uh, you know, auditioning for America's Got Talent and nothing really ever happened. And then all of a sudden in a global pandemic and a global lockdown, the tracks that you made just kind of cut through. It was kind of a thing that was like, you, you got to be prepared. Like, I'm not the type of person that uh, gets down when things get bad. Um, I might get a little depressed here and there, but when, when, the outside, when the outside atmosphere is bad, like when quarantine is happening, I'm not going to get depressed over that. I've been in my room. You know what I'm saying? I've been, <laughs> you know, like everyone's like, we can't go outside. I'm like, this is Tuesday. This is right. We're good. I'm about to go to Chipotle and come back. You right. Know? So it was for it was it was me just 
being prepared to just work through harder times, you know, and some people stopped releasing music, which was also helpful for me. Some people stopped um, uh, even creating music. So I was just like, let's do all of it. Let's promote, create, make, sing. Let's keep building. Let's make myself better. Let's figure out how I can be the next one that comes out. Like how Sean Mend how Sean Mendez was to Vine, how Justin Bieber was to YouTube, Ty Verde to TikTok. That's an alliteration. That's an alliteration, my guy. It's, it has to happen. <laughs> uh, when can we expect the full body of work, though? The EP, the album. Like, what's going on? So the TV, the TV album already dropped. It's great. I love that it's um, a story from top to bottom. It's thirteen tracks. Um, and it follows me dropping out of school and then, you know, meeting a girl, uh, thinking we would get stuck in the middle. Um, and then we break up in the track on this bad never felt so great. And then we end up being okay at the end of it. It's a whole ass story with, um, with, you know, different episodes. That's why I called it TV. And I was also on a reality TV show when I first moved out to LA. So what show yeah. was that? Uh, it was, a. Uh, it was called, are you the one season six? All right, Netflix, where, where can I find this now? Now I got to go see. Well, I, honestly, I don't even know anymore. <laughs> you know? You're not getting no kickback still from that show? You know what? That's how I knew that the music thing was going to be big was when people stopped re recognizing me from the uh, TV, TV show. Stuff. And then uh... people were like, oh, you're the singer. And I was like, oh, now we're here. This is it. That transition. Now that's dope. Uh, yeah. One last question for you. What's a hobby or an interest that you have that people might not know you have? Man, you know, I just started doing yoga. You know, yoga is great, uh, especially because I'm tall. My knees crickety crack every single two seconds. You know what I'm saying? I know exactly yeah. what you're saying. <laughs> yeah. I'm not as tall as you, but I'm over six foot. I know what's up. Yeah, exactly. Um, I just started doing yoga uh, and it was really helpful for my back. And I think everyone should do it just to realize how good your body can feel compared to how bad your body can feel. And now I really can't go back. Like, I didn't mean to be this yoga person. Like, this is like such a weird thing, but because my back feels so good, I can't stop. It's like a drug. So now I'm here. Now I'm telling this interviewer that I got to fucking do yoga all the time. So this is my <laughs> life. Now. <laughs> nah, listen, man, it's cool because you know what? I'm a yoga enthusiast as well. Okay. Uh, similar to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, tall guy, had a lot of had a lot of back problems, mm -hmm. hip problems. Uh put yoga and the stretching routine together last year at the start of quarantine. I yeah. can't go a day without at least stretching. So, you know, it is what it is, bro. <laughs> but listen, man, I'm not gonna hold you up. I know you're a busy guy, you got a lot of things to get to. Got the album out right now. Be sure to check him out. And you've probably seen him on TikTok. He's still active over there. Mm -hmm. Ty Verdes, thank you so much for the time with that Heart Radio. Peace, my brother. Thank you so much, man. You're awesome.